city of Columbus is getting ready to spend millions of dollars on new cameras for police. Mike McCarthy is live on your side in our newsroom to explain this updated plan that's just getting council's approval. Mike? Yeah, Terry, it sure is just getting their approval as recent as last night. This is not a done deal just yet, but the new cameras are one step closer to happening. City Council has approved setting aside $4 million for this, and here's what the city is getting for that money. At least this is the plan. It will pay for upgrades to the body worn cameras officers wear, along with new cameras inside police cruisers and in interview rooms as well. The city is still working on finalizing the company it'll pay for those cameras. That decision is set to happen by the end of this month. You probably remember this. The city's body cameras came under scrutiny after now former Columbus officer Adam Coy killed Andre Hill nearly a year ago. This is the body camera footage from that confrontation. Hill was not armed. Coy didn't turn on his camera until after the shooting. So the current technology recorded only video, no sound for the minute leading up to the deadly gunfire. Coy has been fired. He's also now been charged with murder. His attorney has said he mistook a key ring Hill was holding for a gun. Mayor Andrew Ginther pushed for new cameras in the weeks after that shooting. At the time in January, he said at least 4.5 million would be spent on upgrades. That would mean a number of things, including allowing cameras to automatically turn on when officers get out of cruisers. Body cameras would have better video quality and sound quality too, and they would sync wirelessly with those cruiser cameras. We talked this morning with the Fraternal Order of Police, which does support the camera upgrades. The city has had its current body cameras for five years. In the meantime, the criminal case involving that former officer, Adam Coy, is also moving ahead. Attorneys just met with the judge this morning. The next conference on this for a hearing is set to happen in January. And Terry, the trial is scheduled to begin in March. There's a lot for us to follow with all this. and We'll keep you updated every step of the way as it all develops. We're live on your side in the newsroom. Mike McCarthy, ABC 6 News.